Well, what we'll do, we'll just have you hit a few drivers, okay. and um, and I'm just going to watch you hit your driver a little bit. I don't know if you're familiar with TrackMan. No. What it is, um, it actually tracks the ball with live Doppler radar, where you have some launch monitors, which are which are very good, but they'll take a picture of the golf ball, and then based on how much that golf ball has moved uh, in the two pictures that it takes, it makes calculations on spin, distance, things like that, where this is actually tracking live data. Okay. okay and then we're going to be displaying it on the screen. want to kind of talk about these numbers up here basically you know we have the ball speed uh, 164 we want that as fast as we can get it you know typically your average player is going to be somewhere probably in the 150 152 153 once you start getting in the 160s 170s you get into tour players but Bubba Watson example one longest driver on tour 190 so and the vertical launch angle you know we're looking 10 to 14 you know that's gonna vary you play in Texas you may want to get a hit a little bit lower play maybe out here where the wind doesn't affect you as much you can hit a little bit higher maybe closer to 13 14. the spin rate um, we're looking keep it below 3000 you know anywhere probably above 2200 below 3000 that's going to be a, a range and then also the smash factor that's a ratio of how solid you hit the ball okay so 1.47 or 1.48 means you had pretty good energy transfer but from the club head to the ball anything less means you're not hitting as solid also carry 275.2 and the landing angle this is something that's been new probably over the last year or so. Anything less than 45 degrees coming down is sufficient, you know, because we teach everybody to high launch, but we also want to know that it's rolling, okay? But anything less than 45 is sufficient to get adequate roll, but 35 to 40 is ideal, because if you start coming shallower than a 35 degree angle, you're probably giving up a little bit of carry. But if you start coming a little bit steeper than 40 or even 45, you may be carrying it too far and it's causing it to come down too steep. So if we can get in 35 to 40, we can really maximize the carry and the roll. Okay. Hit that in pretty solid. Okay. All right. So let's just take a look at, at the difference in the two clubs. All right. Just the averages of them real quick. Yeah. Okay. So these, these are going to show the averages here. One, the ball speed, the first club was 162, now we went to 167. So five miles an hour faster on the ball speed. Actually, and you launched the second one a little bit higher, even though it was a lower loft. So that's where we'd know it's something in the swing, swing a little bit more up on it. Maybe the tee was teed up a little bit high. Spin, very similar, 3100. Smash factor, we were talking about this. Anytime you get closer to 1.5, you're hitting it more solid. So you made a little more solid contact with it. And this is the biggest difference here. And we've got 18 yards difference in carry. So now what I've taken, this is going to be a seven and a half. Whoa. Stiff shaft as well, OK? And after we do this, we're going to look at all the clubs together. And then we're going to have a few shots on that fitting software that'll show actually the angle of attack. And we can see you know, if it's you know, the club or the ball. Because if we see two different lofts going the same height, typically that's something in the swing you know, that's going to cause us to go high. But you hit it really solid and straight, it's just going to be a little high. Okay. <laughs> right. And let, let's just take a look at some of these numbers here. So we take a look at the averages. Again, you know, it shows the 9 degree is giving you the fastest ball speed. 162, 167, 165. Okay. All fairly similar on the launch angles, you know, high 14s, low 15s. Similar on spin, didn't hit this quite as solid. The 9 degree is still the most solid, just be, and that proves it with the ball speed being faster. Okay, and it's actually a little bit shorter as well. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, and see the yellows are all the 7.5s out here to the right. The 10.5 more loft you hooked, less loft you start slicing a little bit more. And the blue, the 9 degree, is much straighter. And I'll give you a screen that's a little bit cleaner. Where we take a look here, you know, the yellows are all to the right. The blue, 9 degree. Pretty consistent, still high. Yeah. And then we have your driver. We got one left where you said that's where your miss is. Another one left and two to the right. So the dispersion is much greater with your driver than with the other two. But we can still see here the blue, which was a 9 degree, is going to give you the straightest shot pattern. 
Okay, and then we can talk about going into heavier shafts to get the swing weight down. I mean, not to get the swing weight down, to get the spin down. Okay, so what this shows right here, you can see the orange line, that's your, that's your club pad. It's coming down and then it's just going straight up. So you're actually hitting up on it at plus three degrees, so you're adding about three degrees aloft at impact. That's why we're seeing a lot of those drives go really high. Okay, also the face angle. It's a little bit, that last one was a little bit closed, just a little bit, not much, you know, about three degrees. And then also this shows some of the ball speed and we're gonna play it and it's gonna show the club coming through impact, okay? And oh, it also shows the club path negative six. So we're kind of coming out and back across the line a little bit, okay? You actually, you'll see the club coming down through here then you'll see it coming up through here. So that's a nine degree driver, but you're turning into a 12.9. And we can show some close ups. Close up there. I right, said so this is extremely straight up after this. See that line start to tilt this way, putting spin on it. 